We're going to be talking about temperature variations with depth in our oceans. Now the temperature variations that we see, these profiles, we see three different profiles and they're all dependent on where you are located um, in the oceans. If you're in the low latitudes by the equator, if you're in our temperate zones, or if you're in our polar zones. And that's because the temperature variations that we see are all at the surface and are dependent upon those sea surface temperatures. Um, so when we start to draw these out, we are going to draw a nice profile and I'm going to put all three on the same scale so we can watch how that goes. So temperature is going to be on the top and it will be in degrees Celsius. And we're going to go from 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. Okay, and then our depth will be on our vertical axis in meters from 0 2,000, 3,000. Okay. So the first place we're going to start and look at are going to be our polar areas. So the water in um, our polar regions are very cold. So if we think about the earth and in the seasonal variation as the earth is orbiting around the sun, um, in the winter months, this area goes through periods of darkness. In the summer months, we're still kind of getting some sunlight, but it's not a lot to like warm everything up. So these are very cold areas. And we start to see our polar profile for our seawater looks something like this. So in the poles, let's see, I'll write this here, our polar area, we have cold water from the surface down to depth. So there's very little change in our polar regions. So these are places where there is no obvious thermocline. Okay, and the water is cold from the top to the bottom. Down at depth, the temperatures we're looking at, you can think kind of three degrees Celsius, but deep water can range from anywhere from minus one to three degrees Celsius. So it's very cold down at depth as we get down there. Okay, the next one we're going to look at is the complete opposite, the extreme, which is going to be our tropical zone. And these are all converging at the same place. So this is our tropics, okay, or our low latitudes. And what we see here is that we have this really warm surface layer at the top. And then there's a zone towards the bottom, kind of right through here, where we have this rapid change in temperature with depth. So this has a very distinct thermocline but the thermocline is low or deep. And when you cross into this, this transition, it's going to go from being very warm surface water to very cold, deeper water. Um, so it's a very distinct transition and it's much deeper down. All right, um, and that's this warm uniform layer is very nice, very tropical, and it's what we think when we think of our tropical areas. Now our temperate latitudes are a little bit different. They're kind of between the two, um, and they're a place where we actually do see some seasonal variation. Um, so I'll just draw an easy profile, but this kind of comes down. And again, they're all converging. So this is gonna be our temperate. Our temperate latitudes. Okay, so these are places where we have seasonal variation. We have warmer water at the surface, but our thermocline, so this zone where we see this rapid change, it's much larger. So it has um, a, um, the thermocline starts more shallowy and it continues at a deeper depth. Um, and we're going to see some seasonal variation. So, um, the sea surface temperatures, because we're at these temperate latitudes and we get seasonal variation, it's going to change. And in the winter months, the thermocline will be less pronounced.
and it's going to be more pronounced in the summer months. And that's because in those summer months, we get more of that incoming solar radiation. It leads to warmer sea surface temperatures. Um, so it's going to vary, and that's what this dash is. Um, and the thermocline in this area is thicker. It's a wider zone um, with the ocean. So those are the three profiles. Um, you can see that overall, they all converge down to really cold, deep water. And this is all happening pretty, you know, like, the warm air, the warmest areas in our oceans aren't super deep. So most of our seawater is very, very cold. And what's interesting, if we look um, at the oceans, the average ocean temperature of all the water is 3.9 degrees Celsius, which is cold. And this deep cold water or this deeper water that's very cold is bringing down this average temperature. So it takes away that really warm surface tropical water because there's not as much of it as there is in our deeper ocean. All right, so that's a big thing um, with temperature variations at depth. Um, the one thing you want to remember is our thermocline. That's a good term to have. So the thermocline is a zone of rapidly changing temperature. With depth. Okay, so that would be the one term you want to take from this. And then just remember in our polar areas, we don't see much change. So there's no obvious thermocline. In our tropics, we see a very significant change. Um, and it's a smaller zone. So it's a, a smaller zone, but it's and it's deep. Um, but it does have a transition. And then our temperate areas, we do see seasonal variations in our thermocline. Um, and it's going to be a much wider zone where we see that transition in temperature. Uh, I hope this helps you better understand how temperature varies with depth in our oceans.